being dubbed cat burglars. But they're not after your jewels. They're target catalytic converters a part found underneath cars that reduces their harmful emissions. Thieves stole catalytic converters from Vista resident Amanda Hendricks twice. The first time, her converter was stolen three days before Christmas. Thankfully, the um, insurance took care of it. They told the police came, they told us park it in the driveway under a light that will discourage. So we did it, everything they said. Um, then April came along and happened again. This time, her ring camera got footage of the theft happening. Her car was jacked up and the converter stolen in under four minutes. It's very frustrating. I'm a light sleeper anyway. And then it just, it adds a level of anxiety that, you know, you, you feel like those are your private things, you know, and to have somebody coming and damaging it, taking it apart, you know, and it just, it felt like such a violation. And she's not the only one. This year, more than 1,500 converter thefts have been reported in San Diego. Cameras have captured thefts happening in broad daylight in public places. But why have catalytic converters become a hot commodity? The parts contain platinum and rhodium, and the price per ounce for these precious metals has gone up in the last year. Toyota Prius converters contain more of these metals, making them the biggest targets. And they're cutting them anywhere from here to there, wherever they can, and uh, run off with them, put them in the trunk and leave, you know. Tony English owns Wholesale Performance Muffler in Escondido. He says he sees cars whose converters have been stolen every week, especially after the weekend. They steal the catalytic converters and they sell them to recyclers, you know. Uh, most of the legit recyclers won't buy them, but there are... Uh, you know, they, they trickle it down somehow and they get them sold somewhere. Some insurances do cover stolen catalytic converters, but they don't cover the shield that protects the converter from theft. And that is a Prius shield to keep from stealing the Prius catalytic converter. English says he's installing more of them. Priuses, for instance, are $3,600 just in parts when somebody steals your catalytic converter. So a $500 shield really sounds like a really good investment, you know. While the shields protect the converter, law enforcement is trying to crack down on the thefts happening across the county. What's happening before is if someone was contacted with um, catalytic converters, say, in the middle of the night, and we, didn't, we weren't able to link them to a crime, that was, you know, what we, we believe was stolen property. But um, we needed a victim to, you know, file a case, match it up to a car. Lieutenant Bode Barrett with the Escondido Police Department says the district attorney's office has given police the green light to start making arrests. In speaking with the district attorney's office, they're saying there is no other reason to have these things in the middle of the night. Um, and they are stolen property. So we have the probable cause to make that arrest and they will file on those cases. Lieutenant Barrett says since no arrests were being made due to the pandemic, Thieves were getting bold, so bold that in August, thieves stole a catalytic converter from an Escondido Police Department van. Surveillance footage helped police catch the thieves. Chula Vista was able to make a stop on that vehicle about four days later. Um, there were some catalytic converters in that vehicle at the time. Um, unfortunately, because of the time frame difference between the, the, the days, so we didn't get a, a conviction on our case, but I mean, the, the person was uh, contacted by law enforcement. Police departments have also hosted events where community members can get their catalytic converters engraved with their VIN number in case it is ever stolen. Officials recommend parking your vehicle inside a garage or in a well-lit area, getting security cameras and alarms, and consider getting a cat shield to protect the converter. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.